You don't have to look at the calendar to know that we are facing back to school in the face. And whether it's notebooks and crayons for kids or laptops and furniture for college students, our cocktail closer says he's got the back to school trade. Joining me now, Robert Shine. He's chief investment officer of Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Uh, Robert, there's always a trade, isn't there? And this time around, you've got three names that you feel are best capitalized. Give me the names and tell me why it's these, because there are a lot of competitors out there, too. Well, we're back to school uh, shopping is a, a far, you know, we're right in the middle of it. We personally have two girls in college and two kids in high school. Uh, so back to school is a $94 billion industry right now. And it's an additional, you know, families are looking for value. We like TJ Maxx. We also like Walmart. Uh, Walmart is killing it. We spent a lot of time at Walmart at the Shine family getting our girls ready for college. And uh, their inventory management, e-commerce, they have it dialed in. And if we hit a mild recession, you know, Walmart stands to benefit the most. Also, TJ Maxx, uh, we're seeing consumers across you know the United States with the economy trading down. And if you look at the retail sales lately, not all companies are created equal. TJ Maxx is best in breed, and they're really killing it right now. All three of these names are subject to what we heard, certainly from Dick's Sporting Goods and a lot of these other retailers, and that is shrink, uh, a fancy word for theft. Um, do you look at things like that? I mean, TJ Maxx is is a company that actually has managed to get its arms around that problem. But talk to me about how much that weighs in, because when you look at what happened to Target a quarter ago, they lost about a half a billion or they anticipated a half a billion in losses from shrink. You know, shrink uh, across the e-commerce world, um, you know, the, the theft, the stealing, that's a huge problem that needs to be addressed. Yeah. Conversely, there are companies that are using that a little bit too generously in their earnings reports. Again, it's you have to sift through sort of the companies that are going to be the winners and the losers, and those are actually executing, whether it's a good market, a bad market, a good economy, or a bad economy. Uh, some companies are trending in the wrong direction. Companies like today, the Apple, the TJ Maxx's, as well as the Mar Walmarts, are actually trending in the right direction. So you might want to think about staying, sticking with those and staying away from the others. Yeah, well, they, they've actually done quite well. TJ Maxx in particular, uh, year to date, year over year, same with uh, Apple. Uh, year to date, certainly for Apple. Uh, we're, we're just a day or two away. Thursday begins the Central Bank Symposium in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. How closely are you going to be watching that? And does it really play in to the overall picture, especially when it comes to consumer cyclical stocks and just to overall consumer names? Uh, we are watching, uh, you know, markets are watching and anticipating. And last year, Jackson Hole was a big event for the market. Market's been trading down in anticipation of what might come out of this. Again, it's the hawkish Fed uh, uh, approach, we believe, is still going to continue and persist. So uh, rates higher for longer is probably the take home point we're looking for uh, next week. I think markets are anticipating that as well. Yeah, yeah, it sure looks like it. Uh, but the bond market has been absolutely insane. And as we look at the, the two year, which crossed 5%, folks, 5% yeah. today. I'm just going to give our viewers one last look here. Two-year yield now at 5.039% and climbing. And, of course, we're watching every single tick of it. Uh, thank you, Robert. Great to see you.